Hi guys, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and I am here to demonstrate with our new acrylic paints. So we've got a beautiful collection. We've got 21 different colours in total and I'm going to be working with some of these today. We've got some string which we're going to be using. The textures look absolutely fabulous on the gel press also been pressing some flowers and some leaves using our flower press. It's a technique that takes a little bit of practice, I'll be honest, but it's worth persevering because it's so much fun. What I found works is using the dark colour, putting the leaves on, taking them off and then taking a print. It's just a nice, simple way to start. I've got two different brayers because we need to be quite quick when we're working. So I've got a brayer for light colours and a brayer for dark colours. So you need your kitchen roll as well and some water just to wipe your brayers as you go along. Let's start with a little bit of black. And blue. Now we're looking to get a nice thin coverage. That's really important. And keep blending it, but you've got to get that timing right because you don't want it to get too dry on your gel plate because then you won't get the print. So it is very much a trial and error. So keep working at it. You can see the sheen's just going off it. So now is the time to start popping down your little bits and pieces onto the gel press. We can use some string. over the top. I mean have a look in your cupboard, see what you've got. It's worth popping anything on, anything with a texture um, and like I say it's such good fun this technique. Quickly pop that down and we want to remove the excess paint now. And some people also use the negative prints as well as the positive prints, so always keep those scrap bits of paper. Let's have a look at what we've got. So you can see that's the negative print. Some people work with this, um, overlay it. That's the beauty, you can put another layer, take another print. Now, let's just pull some of these off. Now we don't need to worry about time at this point. Put those back in there. And you'll find with the flower press as well that some leaves will take better than others, some flowers will take better than others. And that again is just trial and error. Some leaves, um, they kind of get very brittle, they're very fine, they fall apart. Some leaves are really sturdy. Again, that's just trial and error. We need to wait till that is completely dry now which I think it more or less is, to be honest. So now we need to take the impression. We're picking some lighter colours. So I'm going to go with these two. This is the Lime Zest, which I absolutely love. Only a very thin layer again. And this is the Soft Cyan. Again, a very small amount. We need to work quite quickly now. Thin layer. 
And like I say, I'm no expert at this. This is all quite a new thing for me. You guys probably know more about this technique than I do. But this is what I found works for me. Um, and as I say, I'm just really enjoying it. Let's give that a smooth over. Try and put a bit of a pressure on this now. Because we're going to try and take all of that imagery off the gel plate onto the card. And then let's see what we've got. Hey. It always makes me smile when I turn that over. It just makes me happy. Seeing all those lovely images come out. Total different way of crafting. It doesn't need much more. I will embellish that with some Posca pens, maybe some foils. Let's see if I can show you closely. All that lovely texture that's come through. That string is really quite amazing. So I'm going to wait till that's completely dry, which it more or less is, and then I'm going to embellish it. So it's all dry now, so we can work over the top and just embellish it with some different layers. I'm going to grab this stencil and let's just pop a little bit of colour onto there. Pop that onto the gel press. And that will give us a nice textured background. Let's pop this over the top. Let's hope it works. Wow, look at that. So we've got another layer of that beautiful honeycomb stencil over the top of that now you can see how much it changes with every single layer and this is why it's so much fun let's put a little bit of mica on so let's just follow some of these lines down on this side as well. Let's give that a little bit of a blast. So taking some of the mica really stood out and on this side now you could put foil over the top of this or you could put gilding flakes over the top I've just used a mica on this occasion I hope you can see that under the camera Now we can just we can just do our own thing. So we can put some little dots. I think it's really worth taking the time to embellish. It just adds more and more detail
And that is really it. That's so quick and easy to achieve. You could always use your little journaling words to write a little bit of a story down the side here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction to these acrylic paints because they're so fine. They're so silky, silky smooth. Even though they're a chalk paint, they're not gritty at all. That's why you get the detail from all the flowers and the leaves. I am over the moon with this range of acrylic paints, I really am, and I've already thought of several new colours that I need in my collection. I hope you enjoyed that demo today guys and I hope it's inspired you to get that gel press out, get some of those acrylic paints and get going and just have some fun with it. So you take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.